What's up, everybody? We are still with a webcam, but I couldn't wait anymore. The core event started, so I had to open up for Team Loki. So we're going to be doing a Team Loki video, opening up his shard orbs. Uh, we are our new free-to-play core method. And then we're going to be doing uh, red stars, and we'll talk finally. T4 is a nice way because I'm getting hounded with this question, especially now there's core opening event. People are going to drop their cores to get him unlocked. I think that is the right move. Uh, let's see if I can get lucky. Let's go. What is up, everybody? Yeah, I still don't have a camera, guys. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be in the mail soon. I did get the uh, message saying that it's been shipped. But in today's little mini video, we're not even going to try and extend this one. We're just going to get it out for funsies. I like watching people open orbs. That's what we're doing. We're going to open some orbs for Teen Loki. We'll have a little conversation about him. Oh, my God. They're selling the milestones. That is so, so disappointing. But we're not here for that. We're here for Prince of Asgard. We can open up four of these bad boys before we are completely out of cores. He's a 45 shard unlock. We need to get 45 out of these four. Average would be like 32. All right, so wish me luck, chat. Give me the give me the good the good juju. Hit me with the good juju in three, two, one. Go! <gasps> and we're done, baby. We were we are done. End of video. Let's go. We're saving the rest of Beta Ray Bill. Do you know why? Because Team Loki sucks. Team Loki sucks. Save your save your cores, okay? I know there's a core spending event. Save your cores for Beta Ray Bill and Sylvie. Sylvie's better than Beta Ray. I hope Sylvie comes out next. Anyway, let's get some uh, some red stars for this guy. Look, I'd be... Do I care to try and get him out of six? I don't really. I don't really. Like, I'd rather five, five and done with it. I'll, I'll settle for a four and done with it, too. Look, when I play with this guy on the playtest server, I had zero red stars on him, and the team was working because of Val and Sylvie, okay? So, he is what he is, and if I could just get him at four, we'll be done. We'll be, we'll be donezo, donezo. Just give it to me, and we'll walk away right now. That This character may be as good as Team Loki. Come on, give me Team Loki. I'll be on my way. I'll be on my merry way. That's close. That's close. That's, that's Big Brother. Give me Loki, Teen Loki. That's not it. Oh. Ugh. That's not it. Free to play players need to core for him to unlock his showcase. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. That's not a terrible, terrible uh, thing. Getting those showcases open so you get that gear. How many are we going to have to do here? Come on. Just give me Teen Loki at four. That's not Team Loki. That's another Mystic character, though. We're getting lots of Mystics. Jesus Christ. Always on the characters that suck. Always on the characters that suck. I don't care about this character. I don't care. But now I feel like I should be trying to fill his stars by core and his orb more. But he, it's, just, it's just no. It's just no. It's just no. It's just not happening. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Let's unlock him. Let's unlock him. He, he'll suck less. Like, he, uh, uh, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing more cores for him just because I got that. It's not happening. I only have enough training mass to bring him up to 71. That's actually perfect. We can talk about ISO 8 from there. Or E4 is from there. Bring him up to uh, gear tier 13. That's also awesome. So we can do the showcase. All right. So in talking about his abilities, let's start with the basic. Bring it all the way up. So in the T4 for this, in raids apply rejuvenation, or sorry, regeneration to all Bifrost allies, uh, as opposed to what? By regeneration, clear one from the most injured in raids when this character performs a counterattack, but it just does nothing. Yeah, yeah, this is a this is a guaranteed T4. This is essential. This is going to mean that on every single turn, he's always given regenerations. We will talk about uh, his ISO later, because I know uh, people have been saying some wild things. For this guy's ISOs, and I'm just I'm not I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Alright, let's go down here. There's number six. Uh his special drain on primary, extra drain, and then in raids increase damage. Look, he his damage sucks. At least it sucked with no yellow stars. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. 
Maybe because I experienced him with no yellow stars and the steam team still functioned, I don't actually know how much damage this guy does. I don't think he does a lot at all. But this is a good damage jump, especially in raids. I'm gonna do it just because I got 5,300 T4s. Is this essential? No. Val, Sylvie, proper T4s on Beta Ray and on and on uh, Loki, and you'll be fine for 1.6 incursion. But I'm gonna do this just because I have excess T4s. No common sense. All right, let's bring his ultimate up next. I think his ultimate was also pretty good. Uh, it's it's like okay. So hold on, how many regions are getting besides that? All right, so no, it's this is not a good T four either. This is not a good T four either. Yeah, he's that's a good point, Shark. He's the Union Jack of the team. He's just not that essential to the team, really. So that's a lot of damage. Maybe he's gonna do damage. Maybe he'll do a lot of damage. We get him at higher stars. I don't really think so, but we'll see. Um, replying two regenerations to self and all allies instead of just one regeneration to self and all allies, it doesn't matter. This team is not gonna survive on the healing that Teen Loki does, okay? They're gonna survive because on their passive, which we're gonna look at over here, let's get all this all the way up. Uh, we'll see uh, on turn, heal for 5% of max health plus 5% of max health per non-minion Asgardian ally. On every single one of their turns, they're healing for 25% of their life. The amount of turn meter rewind you're getting from Sylvie, just the insane damage, the dodges that you have, you will not need any healing from Team Loki. Just taking turns is gonna be the heal. Now I get regeneration increases the amount of healing you're getting on said turn, but it's just gonna be overkill. I've done this team on 1.6 with a Team Loki at no red stars at two, I think it was two yellow stars, no red. Uh, the T, yeah, so this this is an essential T4. The regen gives counters damage. No, I, I get that, fear me. My point is that you don't need to have two regenerations from the ultimate. That's why the ultimate is not an essential. You don't need to have him as a strike. We'll talk about Ice Queen in a second. This is a mandatory T4, and because I'm a psychopath with nearly 5,000 T4s, I'm going to do all of them. Um, but But if you're on a budget, don't do that. So it's the ISO. The, the, the reason I've been talking about regenerations is because of the ISO. People are talking about making him a striker because his ISO attack is going to put reju uh, regenerations out there. You don't need it. The, the rejuven regenerations, he does on every single one of his turns, okay? He does it on his special to the entire team. He does it on his ultimate to the entire team. He does it on his basic to the entire team. Unless your team Loki is dead in which case his passive might just stop anyway, then you don't need to be putting out extra regenerations with a striker iso attack. No, you wanna save that striker iso attack for Val to do insane damage, or if you're gonna wail that on Sylvie, for Sylvie to do extra turn meter rewind. All right, I, I'm not here in this whole striker team Loki thing, I'm not about it. Healer, I just went over that. Like healing, we're gonna get so much heals on turn. Uh, that we don't need to have him as a healer. It's just not a thing. You could if you want overkill. I guess I'm, I'm not about it. Fortifier, sure, whatever. Keep him alive longer. Raider, his special is AOE. Everything else is a single target. You could do that too if you really wanted. But I'm going with Skirmisher. Now, Skirmisher affects nothing, all right? It, 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 it affects so little for this character. But it puts vulnerables out. It puts vulnerables out for Val and for Sylvie. Those are going to be my two. And also, if we get stuck behind a pre-taunt, which happens a lot, think about the raid nodes. First node, we have the Red Guardian, right away. Second node, we have, uh, who's on the second node? The Absorbing Man, then another Absorbing Man, then a Bishop node. There's another Bishop on the first node. There's so many pre-taunts that having a sk another Skirmisher who's just gonna come in, and since none of his other ISOs matter, he can peel off the taunt if he's already hitting into a, into a vulnerable that's already on the target, get that taunt off. I love that, and the boss note again. There's an Absorbing Man and a uh, Red Guardian at opposite ends. Now, Sylvie's ultimate, you hope, is gonna peel that off. If it doesn't, because of a focus check, it'll be nice to have Team Loki to be able to come in there and get off the taunt with his, um, his ISO effect from skirmisher that's why i'm gonna have him as a skirmisher this character is the least important on the team that's all i want to say he's the coolest because of the alligator but the least important and if you want to see all this information in infographic form make sure you go check out the patreon one dollar a month will get you all these infographics in real time as well before they get unlocked 
And uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that epic orb opening. Let's go. Have a good one, guys. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.